Alright everybody, welcome back to Home Wars. So today we're going to be trying out some of the other just beast vehicles in this game. Now, I asked what kind of vehicles you wanted to see and I got a lot of like bomber planes and then also a few comments about like the super tanks, right? So what we're going to do is going to be hopping into a custom battle and what I, what I want to do is I want to try out the war machine. I'm going to have one war machine and then I'm going to have a few, I'm going to have like one supply truck and like... Well, no, we don't want any of those. We want these. These things look pretty sweet. All right, we'll have a few of those. And then I'm going to have the AC-130 gunships. Actually, let's go ahead. There, there we go. Actually, yeah, I only want nine because you can only hold nine planes at a time. Now, for the enemies, I'm thinking we're going mass ants. Or rather, mass terrestrial creatures. Stuff on the ground. And we're gonna bomb these things. Now let's go with like a lot of these guys. There's gonna be an insane amount of ants. And then some spiders to kind of make it look kind of cool. We'll have we'll have a few praying mantai. Is that the plural? Praying mantai? Oh man, I, I, we didn't really pick the map, but look at that. Can you imagine being a sniper here? Okay, so we've got a few whites. Um, yeah, so Ana Perez, or Ana Lopez, in the last video was saying, Baron, last video of Home Wars, I asked for the color white. Can we get white? Ain't 110 upvotes, so I mean, you know, you got the votes, you're gonna get, you're gonna get your color in. So, we're going with white, and I tell you what, it looks pretty weird. So we got a couple of these bad boys as support, and then we'll have the truck, and then it's just aircraft. We'll put nine, and then we'll just have these guys kind of go here, because I think that we might need, um, a spotter on the ground in order to see this. Like, see the enemy? Let's go ahead and launch. Our, oh my god, this is this bigger than the split head or as big? It almost seems like it's bigger Now we haven't seen any bugs. No bugs have been popping up yet, but dude when they do Like look at this. It's got a 30 millimeter rotary an 81 millimeter cannon and a 150 millimeter cannon Interestingly enough We haven't spotted any enemy bugs quite yet Send out the scout vehicle. I'm not sure if the planes just can't scout them. Look at them. Look at them going into this weird... Oh, yeah, that's why. Don't mind me. Totally didn't forget to hit that ready thing. So, another thing was... There we go. Shots are being fired. I'm not seeing any bugs, though. What? Do you see any bugs? Are these bugs invisible? Are we fighting ghosts? He should be seeing them. There we go. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh my God, look at this. This is just unlimited firepower. So we're gonna take manual control. So this is the 30 millimeter rotary. It's not, it's not firing. Wait a minute. I. I don't think... Whoa. Oh, there we go. 150 millimeter main gun. I was kind of confused as to what was happening. But listen to this. The, some of the bigger bugs are getting through. Boom. That was our shot. We missed. So you kind of got to lead your target. All right. So lead your target. Oh, he died. All right. Let's, let's find... That praying mantis is my target. So if I think I am here... A little bit ahead of him, but it was still enough to kill him because here we go. Boosh. I love this freaking thing. This is amazing. Dude, no bugs can withstand 150 millimeters of pain. Oh my god. Oh, there's the big spider. Alright, so now. Now I've got the 81 millimeter. Oh, dude, the fire rate on this 81 millimeter is amazing. Alright, now. 30 millimeter look at that it's firing kind of from the right oh my god okay now we're gonna switch back to the 150 and look at this ready you may fire when ready dude we are a death star oh my god yes fire 10 rounds with this then switch over to the 150 look at them closing in man we added an insane amount of bugs Boosh. I just love that oh my god look at all these things we got to cover, dude. We need close air support. Our tanks are being attacked. 
Close air support requested. Close air support you will get. But look at this. This is just nuts, man. The amount of firepower that this thing has. Oh, see, we're at a very strange angle now. Oh, my God. We may have gotten... We may have bit off more than we can chew with how many bugs we put. Dude, I love that 30 mil. It just eats these guys up. You gotta definitely hit your targets. It's a little trickier. Boosh. Close air support. Oh, dude, they're closing in. Now, what's interesting is when you're in E, in E mode is basically first-person mode. Oh, God. We lost the war machine. Those bugs killed the war machine? We're losing everybody on the ground right now. All right. Is everybody in action? Everybody is, dude. We're, we're losing them. We've got just an insane amount of firepower. Here we go. Switch to this. Oh, my God. Boom! Look at these big old spiders. You're gonna get wrecked right here. Look at this. It just it just wilts them away. Boosh! Almost not a direct hit. It, leading them while you're flying is a little bit tricky, and I'm not really accounting for the angle at which the shell's coming out. Oh my God! Yes, yes. I think we can still hold, even though we lost everything on the ground. Look at that guy. Now we're going to switch to the fit quick firing 81. Dude, this I think this might be my favorite vehicle in all of Home Wars. I think so somebody was suggesting that we do a campaign and we do Starship Troopers. Basically, you only have infantry and very limited air support, and I think it'd be cool to do infantry and only get these. Here we go. The enemy should be wrecked. Oh, there's actually still a few groups, so we're going to speed this up. And if they if they run out of fuel, I think we should be fine. Oh god, everybody's gonna be running out of fuel near and around the same time. So if you oh look, they won. They took out the outpost. Okay, so what was remaining? Zero groups remaining. Zero groups remaining. But there was a few bugs. We we didn't see them. I wonder if it was ants. Pretty sure we got rid of all the praying mantis. But man, is that not one of the freaking coolest vehicles you have seen? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's try the strategic bomber this time. I don't know how it works. And I'm also going to have ground attack. And I'm going to have a few... Oh, you know what I need is I need the spotter. The observer here. Oh, wow. That's that's a bit much. How about just one of those guys and then a few, uh, few belt-fed machine guns and a few grenade launchers on the ground? And then maybe two snipers and two marksmen. Just so we've got boots on the ground. Now, for the enemies, I'm going to go... I wish you could say, like, uh, there was an option for, um, you know, basically what I used last time. Like, what was on the ground, you can use them again. We're going to have a lot of black ants since they're weaker. We're going to have a few jumpers. A few little jumpers out there. And then the uh, these giant spiders. Actually, we're going to have one. Those are going to be the bosses are going to be the spiders. Dude, whoever the soldiers are on the ground, I feel really, really bad for them because they are likely to get overwhelmed and, and eaten alive. But do you think do you think bugs would, like, eat? Let's go with... And then I do want three of these because I'm not sure how the bombers work, if I have to manually control them or not. All right, so I know I want the observer. And then we'll have... These are the grenade launchers. And, well, yeah, we'll double up like this. This is this is going to be a pretty good line. It's not going to be invincible, mind you, but hopefully, and hopefully these guys increase our sight lines. That's what I'm hoping by having these scouts. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get that line. We're going to pull them up here. The observer, he's going to increase vision for us. So then, hopefully, the idea is that we're going to have our bombers and everything like that. All right, so we're just going to ready up. We're going to launch this heavy bomber. Oh, my God. Look at it. It's a B-52. Now, oh, you, I think you have to manually select where you want to bomb. So let's try it out. How about... Oh, my God. We can... Our observer... Oh my god, you see, they're, they're, they're yelling take cover as a result of... Okay, let's see. 
So we've got three bombers in the air. Oh my gosh. Now, can I take direct control? Okay, he's, he should be dropping bombs. Oh, you can see the bombs dropping. Oh, that doesn't seem like it's enough. Oh my god, we're, we're gonna get overrun. And then they come back for refueling, which is basically a rearming. Oh my god. This is kind of scary. Call him the Warthogs. So let's see what happens with this guy. Let's try to get a little low. He's firing missiles. He's firing his, what, 30mm autocannon? Oh, it's Napalm! Oh, boy. Launch all the Warthogs, dude. We're gonna need them. The spiders are closing in. This is not good. What are you idiots doing? Oh, we're just being idiots. Oh, you know what's funny? I have zero trucks. Danger's close. Danger close. I'm dropping bombs right in front of the lines. Now, oh, that spider. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. Those were on friendly... I wonder if we killed our units. No, we don't. I don't think there is friendly fire like that. Now, I want you to target these tarantulas. Alright, let's do We're already losing some. I'm just gonna call in Bomber's Danger Close. All right, now I'm gonna have my warthogs here target the tarantulas because they are the bosses. Oh god, here comes bombs, dude! Napalm, danger close! Oh, you know what? Our observer's probably dead. Yeah, dude, everybody's died. Retreat, boys, retreat! Oh my god, look at this carpet bombing, napalm. There's so many spiders and ants, though. Yeah, everybody's pretty much getting roasted out here. I'm just gonna like, this is gonna be absolute hell to like try to go through this. This is, I don't, I don't expect these guys. What is this green stuff? What are these weapons? It's like, there's different kinds of bombs. Okay, we've got high explosive bombs, incendiary bombs, cluster bombs, and toxic bombs. And you can see all of those in action right now. Now it doesn't look like I have a choice. They're just kind of arbitrarily dropped. This guy needs to be recalled. He's like out of fuel. So this toxic cloud is literally wilting anything that attempts to go through it. These poor guys, dude. These bugs have no chance. They're closing in, though. I'm not sure how much more we can drop. But we're just going to keep dropping in that toxic cloud. That's interesting. In action, but he's got no fuel. Recall. But it doesn't give me a recall option. Another cool thing is... um that there is an auto resolve feature now they have heard our pleas and they've put in an auto resolve feature and i cannot thank the developers enough for that that is that is a critical thing in um, a macro strategy game like this right because sometimes you may want to fight the individual battles but sometimes you might not you just want to focus on you know the overall strategy but these guys are going to eventually run out of ammo actually i'm curious if i put them near the supplies will they auto supply let's do some tests here guys Hey, could you stop being an idiot? Yes, sir. I'll mount my 50 caliber here. All right. Oh, my God, dude. This is scary. This guy's dodging our 50s. Dude, can you imagine being a 50 cal machine gunner and all you see are bugs everywhere? Look at these guys. They're closing in. Oh, God. This poor guy is gonna die. Oh my god, look at these ants. Alright, we gotta drop danger close. Danger close. Oh my god. I don't I don't. Yeah, just kill everything around there. Oh my god, we're carpet bombing? We we might. We might be able to hold out. But I I, I just I'm not sure. Oh wow, look at that. What are the statistics? How many? There's no extra groups. We, we've absolutely destroyed them all here. Now, if I had waited and done... Here, maybe we could do another bombing run. I'm just going to kind of spread them out. Dude, this strategic bombing is just insane. I don't think the bugs... Like, what can they really do? 
against this technological advancement that we have. We do have guys running out of ammunition fast, though, on the front lines. So it's going to have to come down to look at the napalm. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. What movie is that from, Baron's Brigade? Where is that from? Let me know. Uh, you know, I love... I'm a big fan of movie quotes. I'm a big fan of movies in general. Wow, that missile, dude. These guys are just so freaking cool. Wait, see, look at this. Here's the auto-resolve feature. I am a big fan of that. Now, it would be cool, though, if um, in a campaign it would be that way. So my question is, do you guys want to see me do a campaign? Do you want to see a Starship Troopers style campaign where basically we do infantry only with just a limited amount of air support? And I'm talking limited. I'm thinking just bombers, right? Um, actually, speaking of bombers, let's do another custom battle to kind of acquaint ourselves with them. So we've tried, we've done the strategic bomber, we've done the gunship, and we've done the split head. Now, here we go. Strike aircraft. I want to see these guys in action and a few bombers as well. And then I'm going to go... I'm kind of curious to see... Dude, it was kind of nuts that we lost our war machine in the last battle. That was, I mean, I was not expecting that at all. And then we'll go... We'll go riflemen. We'll go a lot of riflemen. And we do need supply trucks. Yep. And then let's go... Maybe some rocket artillery just because these guys are so cool when they are firing. All right. Now, enemies. 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 Um... We're going to do a varieta. Dude, it's just going to be like a mix and match. And then we're going to have a lot of black ants and these guys. And we're going to start this battle up. Actually, let's give them like some black widows. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because look at that. That war machine tank is the most ridiculous tank in the game. So we've got strategic bombers. Um, reinforcements. You may have fought when ready. These are the bombers, right? And we'll do strike aircraft. Artillery? Oh, we do have artillery. I forgot about that. These guys are just so cool. Oh, you know what I forgot, though? Is, um, I'll keep this guy in reserve. But I forgot to put the, uh, observers. So we're gonna have to have a line of infantry here. Alright, now we're gonna start. And we're just gonna ready it up. Our guys just gotta be ready for this. Alright. And let's go with these. What? What? Am I... Sometimes that'll happen. It's it's kind of strange. Look at that. Yeah, it's like... Why can't I click on him? I don't know if I was, like, too close or... You never really know. But we, we're gonna figure it out. Alright, so you're gonna stay with him to keep him supplied. You're gonna stay with him. And you're gonna go up here with the war machine. Alright, the bugs are probably coming. So we're gonna launch a strike aircraft. Now, I don't have to control him. And I don't have any options. Oh my god, look at that. Call in the strike aircraft. So these are Harriers. They got lots of missiles. So 20 millimeter autocannon and guided missiles and 50 millimeter rockets. Dude, look at these things, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we need we need bombers. Dude, these are you actually have to like. All right. So what's happening? Oh, they're cluster bombing. And then we'll have these guys kind of uh bombing back here. But I love the bombers. Oh, man. These guys are getting surrounded already. Not good. Not the best. And look at these missiles coming in. All right. So we're dropping the napalm now. Our strike aircraft, which I think might be some of the best support. Because they do have a pretty good... Look at this. The 50 millimeter rockets. Actually... Oh, God. We're, we're, we're attempting to fly the Harrier. Oh, God. We're hitting things. We're going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, clearly I'm not the best pilot. Don't crash. He's flying inverted right now. Don't crash. Don't crash. <gasps> oh, man. That, that might be one of the best pilots of all time. Oh, my God. They're all refueling. Um, the But the strike aircraft are still here. Dude, the spiders are closing in. We're losing soldiers. Oh, that's because they weren't supported by the trucks. We had a little bit of a some derpy positioning. So... All right, we need danger. We need danger close. Uh, bombing runs here. Oh my god, we lost the war machine again. All right, we 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 called all three right here. Nothing will survive that. I hope. Now with these, we're gonna we're gonna call. We're gonna bomb the second wave. And once this guy's done refueling, we're gonna send him back out. Bomb right here. 
Now, these guys should be able to bomb again, right? Because they've got, what is it? They only have incendiary and clusters. Oh, and high explosives. So no uh, poison gas. Oh my god, dude. We're losing a lot of good soldiers on the ground, man. But this is basically like a preview of kind of, well, a lot less infantry. Oh my god. How did we, we lost that truck? Our allied outpost, dude, oh my god. Okay, let's, let's try to get some more bombs in here. Dude, they're literally, the bugs are just kamikazing into the napalm. Look at this. That, that looks like a cluster bomb just went off. But I like napalm because it's still doing residual damage and still wrecking these guys. All right, we'll call in these guys. Oh, wow. That guy just got run over by a cockroach. Now, can they VTOL? I'm not sure. All right. We need, we need danger close. All the soldiers are pretty much dead. Oh, my God. Look at this. Do you think we, could, do you think we can survive this? 86%? It's possible. All right, we're going to have to call all of the soldiers remaining out of that area. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on the ones that are up. Oh, my God. A little bit of some camera wonk. So, it's like, could do you think you could win a campaign with just, just planes? Like bombers? We'll call the strike aircraft. We need him. Dude, I, I just feel like they're all just walking into this death trap. And there's just no chance. All right, let's get, let's get like, you know, this is what it looks like, man. No, nothing surviving this. Look at the napalm. This poor spider's like, any, I don't know. You think he's alive? I don't think he's alive. Oh, this cockroach. There are a few things, though, that are still around here. Come on, boys. Come on. We're going to hold this battle. I think, oh my god, how many groups? There are so many bugs. Look at this. We're just creating like this area of death. We still have the rocket pod here. And we do have a few soldiers still alive. Which is nice. So we're going to call them a little bit closer. Now we got to get these bombers going. I, I kind of wasn't watching it. And there's a reprieve. And the bugs have taken advantage of that reprieve. But uh, with how many groups are left? Oh, actually. Actually, I'm not sure, man. I, I think... Danger close! On the truck! <laughs> it's like, maybe these bombs, maybe these, uh, they, they don't hurt plastic. Like, that's our, our superior technology, right? Dude, look at this. The cluster bombs! I love the cluster bombs. Listen to this, guys. Just listen to that. You can hear the bombs go, like, whistling on their way down. Look at this napalm. The truck's like, it's fine. It's not designed to melt plastic. It's uh, the non-plastic melting kind. But I think we got it. I think, we, oh, yeah, we definitely got it. We have enough bombers, and they can go back. And I wonder, like, let's see. What kind of, oh, my God. In, in custom battle, you don't have to worry about ammunition. But in, in a campaign, you definitely would. Your supplies would be pretty key. All right. I'm waiting... I'm waiting to get my uh, strike aircraft back. They kind of take a decent amount of time to refuel. But they do stay on target for a while. Look, he's out of ammunition. Then maybe... Yeah, there you go. Refuel. Okay. Now it's just the, like, sissy ants, man. They ain't got nothing on us. You ain't got nothing on my army. My air forces. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then the rocket artillery comes in. There's just, like, nothing really alive. Win the battle. All enemies will withdraw. Call in the strike aircraft. Look at that. Are they? Did they do that automatically, or was that a delayed where I where I position it? It could have been delayed. I keep spamming the orders. So there's two left. I wonder who it is. Here's here's somebody. Dead. Immediately dead. There's what? Immediately dead. We did a pretty good job. So that was just aircraft focus. But Baroness Brigade, what I want to know is, would you like to see? Would you like to see a Starship Trooper style campaign? So let me go back to the main menu and just kind of reiterate what that was, because that was that was an idea. Was uh, to do Wei, Wei Zhu Lin was saying that. So basically, what we've got is look at this. We've got these front two rows, just all infantry, and then maybe I'm thinking like one or two planes. You know, like call in a bomber airstrike or a strike aircraft. Very very limited air support. Anyway. 
Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, but let me know if you'd like to see another campaign or more custom battles. This one, everybody was wanting to see more planes, so let me know, but we could focus on the war machine, which is those giant tanks. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.